Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. So, the Tier 10 Chinese Tank Destroyer, the WZ113 FT. Um, if you've seen my rankings of the Tier 10 tanks, I put this quite low for newer players because it's not a noob-friendly tank, despite having armor, despite having a big boomstick. There's something about it that just doesn't really play well, and that's why it's not popular. Um, I would choose many other tanks over this, especially for newer players. But it can do quite well in the right hands. Um, I had a decent game here, and I wanted to share it with you. And it just shows the importance of why you know, big guns should never be counted out of games. So let me give you a quick review of the tank, and then we'll jump right in. So, overall, good. Gun. Great. But you will bounce from time to time, unfortunately. I don't know why. Armor. Good. You will get some bounces. Maneuverability. Iffy. I mean, it's a slow beast. And with that, let's jump right in. Okay, so we're on Yamato Harbor. And looking at the lineups, well, they have two Yo's, so that's tough, as well as a 60 TP. I would love to get rid of that Leopard and take out any spotting they have. Uh, my buddy's in the Hori, so he's probably got the best tier 10 gun in the game. And I've got, well, one of the better guns. But as I said in my review of the tank, I don't know why, but this tank does bounce sometimes. You're going to need to use gold shells against those IS-4s and the Type 71s. Mm. Yeah, and even then, sometimes, uh, you never know with those tanks. Okay, so I've been spotted. That's unfortunate, but um, no big deal. I think the rest of the team is going to head to A. But don't want to push him too far too soon. I'm not that fast, but lo well, and behold, Mr. Leopard is not even looking at me. What is he doing? Thank you very much. So he took a major shellacking uh, to start the game. I'm not sure why nobody else could hit him, but okay. Now instead of pushing in here, I'm going to see if I can get some shots some freebies, I guess. I mean, side shots on these heavy tanks. Yes, please. And I'm lined up and, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's bad luck. Um, it happens, right? Okay. Now, give me a shot here. Come on, this guy's, oh, he's backing up. Come on. Yes, there we go. Now, I suppose I should have used HE, but, oh well. Um, I didn't want to risk him turning around and maybe bouncing a shell, so I prefer to have the uh, better pen. And now watch this. HE, here we go. Come on. Come on, better. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, our tank decided to push in with no support, so he is absolutely vaporized. Not the best of moves. I will say, I think this tank's HE is pretty much a light tank killer, so if you've got a Leopard, if you've got a grill, an FV4005, this HE is just fantastic. Now you're not gonna have those nice juicy targets every game, uh, but this tank does do well even against heavy tanks and you can brawl a little bit. But I do find that good players seem to be able to rip this tank apart, but bad players really struggle against this tank. I do think that is the case. Now, this guy's here. And I'm all alone. Well, I've got a little bit of support behind me, but I'm afraid that I'm going to get uh, pushed on if I'm not careful here. My buddy took care of that guy. And here I go. Now, turning around, turning around. And I see a chance because I want to get rid of this guy. I'm going to take a few hits, but that's okay to get rid of that uh, big threat. And luckily, um, this leopard is not the best player. So, yep, he's going to... Yep, he's gone. Bye-bye. That was my buddy. Thank you very much. And now it's two versus three. We have the advantage in a big way. We've got tons of health. But uh, you never know. So, better to get another base just to seal the deal. And we do have a grill, but... As you guys know, a grill can easily lose its health really quickly if we're not careful. But the grill wisely here has taken a few shots and now he's 
gonna get into cover as soon as he's fired and lo and behold he's going to give me the shot so that's nice so nice work grill thank you for luring them in really appreciate that and now i'm gonna help you out again will i make this i do not know i think i yeah i hit this one there, there we go and there we go so three big guns the grill myself and the hori and pretty much we dominated that game 3,000 for me, 3,000 for my buddy, and 2,500 for the grill. Three big guns doing the business. Working together, big guns can absolutely ravage teams, but the problem is they need people to spot for them. That is their weakness. Anyway, it worked out for us this game. So let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite big gun in tier 10? Is it the FE183? Is it the JPPZ? Is it the E3? Um, you know, the grill is very popular for many people, but uh, personally, if I had to choose one, I think I'm going to go with the Hori. I like the concept of the speed, the armor, and that pen is just amazing. But uh, how about you? That's all I got for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Comment below, but don't forget to hit subscribe and tell your buddies, tell your friends, go on social media, share my videos. Really help me out, guys, because the more subs I get, the happier I feel. <laughs> That's all I got for you. I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.